सम लेडीज हैव डिलीवर्ड मेनी बेबीज फ्रॉम बिलो देयर पेल्विस द पेल्विक डायफ्राम और द सपोर्ट हैज बिकम स्ट्रेच बिकॉज ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंट प्रेगनेंसीज देन व्हेन दे बिकम ओल्ड दिस कॉजेस रेक्टल प्रोलैप्स सर्जरी सिंप्लीफाइड शस्त्र कला सरल शब्दों में हेलो ऑल योर व्यूअर्स वेलकम बैक टू सर्जरी सिंप्लीफाइड शस्त्र कला सरल शब्दों में हाय डॉक्टर वेलकम डॉक्टर मैं डायरेक्टली पूछती हूँ आपसे आज क्या नया सीखने मिलेगा वेल हमने दो चीज तो देख लिए एक था ब्लीडिंग वाइल पासिंग स्टूल्स करेक्ट Pain while passing stool. Right. So to complete the, uh, you know, the all most of the common conditions regarded or attached to passing stools, let us discuss when patients come with something coming out per in per mass. Means when they pass stool, they find that something is coming out. Like a like a mass. Yes, like a mass. What we call it as a mass coming out of the anus at the time of passing stools. Okay. Now here we have to differentiate between. this condition is also seen quite often mm. in very small children okay yes and also in adults so we have a completely different approach uh -huh. when we come to treating children with this and uh, adults so what's the proportion of children getting these kind of symptoms well uh, i don't know the exact proportion because what happens is that many times this corrects on its own So how many people do actually come to a doctor we don't know mm -hmm. because what happens is in very young children especially you know while they are on milk mm -hmm. mother's milk or external milk say in in infancy mm -hmm. that is up to 1 year of age if the child or even little later 2 years 3 years old child if they get loose motions mm -hmm. which they do often get loose motions sometimes the loose motions prolongs for a few days and immediately what happens is they lose weight because if you take a percentage of the body weight you know the water content in child is much more mm, so achha. they do get tend to get dehydrated faster than adults okay mm -hmm. so when they lose weight what happens is they also lose fat mm. around the lower part of the intestine which is the rectum and the anus as a result the support for the anus is not there mm. and as a result what happens is the inner lining of the anus it comes out which is known as rectal prolapse now this looks like something is coming out of the anus but what is actually coming out is the mucosa or the inner lining of the rectum which is coming out because the anus is sliding down okay okay so this sometimes the mother becomes very alarmed mm -hmm. now the basic thing is there's nothing to be alarmed about this you even need not go to a doctor immediately all you need to do is take a little bit of oil coconut oil or something on a piece of tissue mm. and then just push it back inside acha and leave your fingers let the tissue remain there mm. later on you can just pull out the tissue which means just push it back inside because it will come out again again you push it back is that painful not at case? all okay and what is important is that once the child comes out of the diarrhea and eats properly puts on weight this will take care of itself acha so it doesn't need a doctor also but if you want to go to a doctor to confirm it's all right but this is very common mm. when child gets diarrhea so is it also because it cures very easily among children because they are still in the growing stage yes yes because as i said mm. fluid content in proportion to the body weight is more mm. so when they have few large stool suddenly the water content drops, drops. they go into dehydration mm. and because they are not eating they tend to lose weight quickly mm. now the fat around the rectum which is there that shrinks mm. when it shrinks the support for the rectum and anus goes away and it slides down that is the main way so it doesn't need any surgery understood mm. now the same thing 
when it comes to adults in adults mm. we call it rectal prolapse now here there is a weakness of the sphincter we discussed last time that there is a muscle which controls the sphincter that sphincter for some reason becomes weak now it could be due to old age this is the commonest cause especially in ladies mm. post menopause means after mm. their menopause when the hormones go away from the body mm. and they become old mm. some ladies who have delivered many babies from below their pelvis uh, the pelvic diaphragm or the support has become stretched because of frequent pregnancies mm. then when they become old this causes rectal prolapse now here the entire rectum in different degrees there could be first degree mm. second degree and third degree third degree the whole rectum is out acha out comes out of the anus it comes out like this in second degree a fairly fairly large portion comes out and in first degree it's like in the child it's only the inner lining that is the mucosa mm -hmm. now the basic thing is this need surgery acha whichever degree it is need surgery mm -hmm. first degree we do it treated like piles we just remove it second and third degree we need to put a mesh either through the abdomen okay mm -hmm. either through a keyhole surgery or open surgery mm -hmm. open it you mobilize the rectum put a mesh behind attach the mesh to the sacrum that is the spine and then hitch the rectum to that uh, mesh so that it will fibrose and it will not come down so you're basically so pulling surgery. pulling it back yes you're pulling it back Instead and of hitching it, it away. yeah and hitching it to the uh, spine that is the sacrum the lower end of the spine which is the pelvic you know the pelvis is here like this and the bone of the pelvis is called the sacrum mm. so you hitch it to the top of the sacrum put a mesh there and then take the uh, the rectum and hitch it to this so that you get fibros then it will not come down this can be done either by open surgery or it can be done by keyhole surgery or what i do i do a special trans liberator sling operation which is a 15 minute procedure with which i can cure uh, prolapse rectum aram se not a problem 20 minute surgery patient goes home the next day no laparoscopy no open surgery this is a old technique which i have developed on my own i read it about read about it in a old book of surgery and i've been using it since 25 years so i don't do the abdomen approach i do the rectal approach i mean the perineal approach it's from below the patient is put in lithotomy like the delivery position and i do what is called a trans liberator sling and with that patient's prolapse is controlled so what i'm doing is strengthening the sphincter i'm not touching the rectum so if i strengthen the sphincter the sphincter will take get the tone back mm. and it will it will prevent the rectum from coming out so is there any particular reason why it is you know in this particular uh, uh, you know surgery it's been pulled up no, and, it, and, it, and it not is, cut no because you don't need because the whole pathology is that it is sliding down uh -huh. so you have to prevent the sliding okay. so either you can prevent it sliding down by hitching it from above uh -huh. or you can strengthen the sphincter got it so i do strengthening of the sphincter so because the the basic problem is that the sphincter is lax mm. and because of straining the rectum is coming down mm. now the rectum may come down but if the sphincter is intact mm. it will not it will not allow it to come outside mm. okay. okay so my operation works because the sphincter is strengthened the other operation works because you are taking the sphincter, uh, rectum back up and hitching it to the bone mm. so it's not allowed it, allowing it to slide you are not doing anything to the sphincter but you are right. only uh, hitching it to the bone inside so, so this is rectal prolapse so this is common only uh, people who are aged or uh, anyone it's more like common in aged people especially in females mm. but it is fairly common in other not fairly common but let us use the term it is not uncommon acha it's a british term in 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 our british surgery textbooks not uncommon not uncommon yes so okay. not uncommon in males but common in females especially aged females and the other thing i want to discuss is in a child you can get a polyp which is a soft tissue tumor mm -hmm. in the lower part of the rectum which when they pass tools comes out mm -hmm. and right. goes in again right. so this has to be differentiated whether it is prolapse rectum mm -hmm. or it is a polyp mm -hmm. if it is a polyp it will be round and sometimes it may bleed because it has it's a tumor so it may bleed mm -hmm. so if the mother finds that it is a roundish like like a bengan you know mm -hmm. bengan jaisa the stool no no that ah, the mass is like a brinjal ah. it's like 
little like a brinjal, okay. small brinjal, you know, it will come out and go in, uh -huh. and sometimes it will bleed. Hmm. That needs surgery, hmm. but not open surgery. You can put a colonoscope and remove it hmm. from below without without opening or doing anything to the child from above, inside, endoscopy. Our endoscopy colleagues will put a, a telescope inside and they have a special instrument which will cut it and pull it out. Okay, yeah. got it. Alright, so any special takeaway to all of viewers? Yes, again, take care of constipation. If you are having constipation, treat it well because all these conditions are related to constant straining over a period of time. See, the sphincter has also got a certain amount of uh, strength. Mm. If you keep on putting strain on it, it will become incompetent, it will get stretched mm. and then the prolapse will happen. Mm. So prolapse rectum also happening in younger people is because of straining. In older people, it is because of aging and the loss of the tone, loss of the hormonal uh, hormones which maintain the tone and multiple deliveries which have stretched the sphincter. Right. So that is a different thing altogether. But in younger people, especially in males, it is definitely related to strain. Mm -hmm. So it's straining of any kind. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. Thank you so much, okay. doctor. Thanks a lot. That was again another wonderful informative episode. If you have any questions, please comment section and we will get back to you. Apart from that, if you want doctor to tell you something else, if you have any suggestions, if you want to know about topic, then you can also add it in the comment section. And we sure uh, will sure, be more than happy to talk about that as well. So if you like our video, please like, share, subscribe and please hit the bell icon and stay tuned for new episodes. Thank you so much. Thank you.